Squad, we have reached the end. It is season six, the final season of Modern Warfare 2. And you know what that means. It is time for another update to my search and destroy classes and settings. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you do. If you are new to the channel as well, you like search and destroy, do me a favor and subscribe and join the squad. I promise I got something for you you'll enjoy. Anyways, let's hop into it. I say this in every class of the video, and I'm gonna say it one last time for Modern Warfare 2. What works for me may not work for you. I am an aggressive search to destroy player plays on keyboard and mouse, and my class setups are set up to match my play style while accommodating the search and destroy meta. So, if there's any class setup that you're looking at, you're going, oh my god, this is terrible, he's a moron. That's fine, just don't use it. It's really simple. Anyways, though, let's get into the video. Starting things off with the perks I run in Search and Destroy. The setup I run the most today is Double Time, Bomb Squad, Fast Hands, and Quick Fix. Double Time, of course, so I can have tax sprint longer, so I can play highly aggressive. Bomb Squad for the, you know, I'd say it's all 30% of the time when it actually works. It's helpful, so it's worth running for that reason and that reason alone. The fact that we're in Season 6, they still haven't fixed the issue where Bomb Squad just straight up doesn't work. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand if any what's up with that. Anyways, though, Bomb Squad is still helpful when it works 30% of the time. Uh, fast Hands because I like to reload my weapons faster, use my equipment faster, etc. I also think that another phenomenal option is Restock. I used to run Restock all the time, and then I switched over to Fast Hands because I keep running into this issue where I'll have my knife out and I'll try to swap to my weapon, and it won't swap to my weapon. If you, if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. But, um... Yeah, fast hands kind of gets rid of that. It doesn't happen to me nearly as often when I run fast hands, and being able to reload quicker has helped me out in rushes, so I've started running fast hands over restock really for that reason, literally because of the stupid not swap weapon glitch. But uh, I grew to like fast hands. Restock, I also think, is a phenomenal option as well. Now, moving on to my ultimate perk. There's a lot of good options for ultimate perks. My personal favorite is, of course, Quick Fix. And then in some scenarios, I swap over to Ghost. Ghost is very good to run, especially if you're a solo player like myself. But at the same time, Quick Fix, when you're playing aggressive, there is nothing better than being able to heal after every kill. Plus, there's the whole thing where now if you hold the bomb, or if you're planning or defusing the bomb, if you get shot at, you instantly heal with Quick Fix. So having that added on, on top of being able to instantly regen after every kill, just makes Quick Fix by far the best option for search and destroy. And staying off the UAVs is, is nice, but it's not as nice as Quick Fix is now, especially if you can play on offense with the bomb and basically be invincible as long as you're holding it. As far as the other ultimate perks go, Overclock, another good option to get that dead silence as quick as humanly possible. Uh, Survivor, if you use this, you're a bitch. Uh, Blind Eye, nothing wrong with it, but nothing really great about it either. Uh, it does give you that whole UAV ping thing, which is kind of helpful, but you can sound horse so well in this game, you really don't need it in my opinion. Uh, and then High Alert, don't use this. Just don't. I say this in every video and everybody have people commenting saying, high alert has saved my butt over and over again. I know, that's what high alert's meant to do. It's meant to save your butt, but that's the problem. If you get used to high alert saving your butt, you'll never learn and grow the game sense to understand where that guy is before high alert has to save your butt. So don't use it. Instead, learn from your mistakes. Lethals and Tacticals. The Flash and Frag Grenade are by far the two best options in this game. I swap out frags sometimes for drill charges, uh, semtexes, or thermites, all for one reason. Riot shields suck and they drive me crazy. So I'm typically swapping to a thermite for them, sometimes drill charge, sometimes it just depends on how I'm feeling and what map I'm playing on. But usually it's a frag or thermite for me and my classes. You guys know I love my spawn nades. And if you don't know I love my spawn nades, I have rush route videos covering just about every single map in this game. And I will link the playlist in the description and included within those routes are my spawn nades, which consistently get me a lot of kills. So uh, if you want to check out those rush route videos, they're linked in the description. Tacticals, flash grenades by far the best one. I, I swap out flash with smoke depending on the map I'm playing on. Maps like Shoot House, for example, I love running smoke routes on. The classic straight down the middle, love it. So we run smokes for that and a couple other maps. But besides that, I'm usually running flash grenades. I used to run stuns on this game and I kind of stopped using them simply because stuns were just really good, but I just, it didn't last long enough. Whereas the flash lasts a little bit longer and it just, it's overall just more annoying in this game. It just kind of better. And once you've died to the tack many, many, many times, you decide to just run the best tactical instead of being nice and running the stuns so i run flash grenades now um stim shots not that great in this game they're just okay um they're helpful on the go when you're getting shot at but if you're running quick fix i don't really see a point in running a stim shot Moving on to my actual weapon, starting is off with my favorite sniper in the game, the FJX Imperium, aka the Intervention. Am I blinded by nostalgia with this one? Yes, 100%. You could tell by the fall camo. 
on the blueprint that has the old intervention audio. Listen, I, MW2 is my first COD, what can I say? But I do enjoy the intervention a lot. My class setup for it, we got the fuel wrap handle, the 7MW laser, the MCPR optic, the Kilo tack stock, the FJ, FJX blast bolt. As far as tuning goes, we have the tuning for the handle right here, tuning for the laser, tuning for the scope, and finally tuning for the stock. Moving on to my next class, this is kind of a dumb class to show, but I'm gonna show it because I get comments on videos recently asking me about it because I've been using this uh, the secondary, which we'll get to in a moment, a bit more than I have recently. My movement MP5. This is what I run because I can't just run a secondary with a knife as a primary. What happened to being able to overkill secondary so I can run a knife if I'm just gonna run a pistol? I, what happened to that? We did, we did that for so long, Call of Duty, and then we stopped. I don't understand, but uh, what I have here is a max speed MP5. It's a 15 round mag, no stock with the Pulsar barrel, which is the sprint speed, a movement speed barrel. So I run that so that if I can't run a knife secondary for rushing, this is as close as I can get to being able to run fast. I have less tack sprint, but the MP5 moves really, really, really fast. So it just about matches the rush route timings if you're trying to rush and go pistol only. Moving on to that secondary, I talked about with the F-Tac Siege, AKA the Tommy Gun with the new blueprint they added. I've been enjoying this weapon a lot since that new blueprint came out, and it really is a, a dumb pistol. Like, this shouldn't be a pistol. They should have just made this an SMG. I understand the ammo type and everything. It's technically a handgun, but like, it's it's an, it's a fucking SMG, okay? Listen, Treyarch made it an SMG in Cold War. We can just make it an SMG in this game too, all right? But anyways, I'm not gonna complain. I like having a pocket SMG sometimes. Class setup, we have the 72 round drum, of course. We have the rebel under barrel the super tack barrel we have the siege wire stock and the 160 grip tuning for the grip right here tuning for the stock tuning for the under barrel and finally tuning for the barrel the Lockwood 300. Did you really think I wasn't going to put that in this video? They broke the shit out of this gun in the last update and it's hilarious like they really just don't care with season six. It's so much fun to use. Anyways, though, class setup, we have got the Buck Pro Guard. We've got the Choke, the V1.3 muzzle specifically. And then we've got the 812 barrel and the Sweet Spot stock. And of course, to end it off, we have the Dual Trigger. Tuning for the Dual Trigger right here. Tuning for the Guard. Tuning for the Choke. Tuning for the Barrel. And finally, tuning for the Stock. I don't know why it's doing this weird preview screen. I don't know why it's all glitched out. But anyways, we have the MP7, my favorite SMG in the game. Class setup, we have the Lock Vidar 165 millimeter barrel. We have the Commando foregrip, the 50 round mag, the Soldier grip, and the Demo RXT stock. Tuning for the stock, tuning for the rear grip, tuning for the underbarrel, and finally tuning for the barrel. Moving on to All Reliable, we have the M4, which stays being the most slept on gun in the game because I still kind of think it's better than the TAC, just a little bit. Out of the TAC's really annoying and overused and very good, but the M4 is right up there with it, and I stand by that. I love the M4. Anyways, class setup, we have got the high tower 20 inch barrel, the Commando foregrip, the 45 round mag, the X10 grip, and the Ravage stock. Tuning for the stock right here. Tuning for the rear grip. Tuning for the underbarrel and finally tuning for the barrel. Next up, we have the TAC-56 Killer, AKA my favorite weapon in Modern Warfare 2, the AK-74U. Class setup, we have the Echoless 80 muzzle, the F-TAC Tiger Grip underbarrel, the overpressure rounds because I'm an asshole, and then we have the True TAC Rear Grip and the stock, which I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm just gonna call it stock. Uh, tuning right here, rear grip, the overpressure rounds, the underbarrel and the muzzle. Moving on to the CR56 AMAX, AKA the TR76 Geist, which is the, by far the AMAX in Modern Warfare 2. It's a three shot kill. It has the 10 round and one shot mag you can put on it too. It's basically an AMAX. It just looks like a Ram 7. I love it though. It is the TAC 56 Rivalry. It's a great gun. Give it a try. We've got the Shark Fin Underbarrel, the TYLR8 muzzle, the Cronin Mini Dot Optic, the Expedite Grip Pad Stock, and the Hard Top Comb. Tuning for the comb. Tuning for the stock, tuning for the optic, tuning for the underbarrel, and finally tuning for the muzzle. Next up, we have the Cast Off 762, aka the AK 47. Phenomenal gun, very underrated, has the damage that is arguably stronger than the TAC 56s. It's a great weapon. Give it a try if you haven't already in Season 6. You know, surely we're all getting bored of the TAC, right? I hope. Please don't use the TAC as soon as you hit level 2 in Modern Warfare 3. 
Thank you. All right, class setup. We've got the 40 round mag, the 7.62 high velocity, the commando foregrip, the broadside stock, and the true tank rear grip. Tuning for the grip goes right here. Tuning for the ammo. Tuning for the underbarrel. And finally, tuning for the stock. The Lockman Sub, aka the MP5, another phenomenal SMG, the classic, the old reliable SMG, you might say. We have the 40 round mag. We've got the high velocity rounds, which were recently added to the game and are a phenomenal addition to this weapon. If you don't run them, you definitely should be. We've got the Merc foregrip underbarrel, the M12 sub barrel, and finally the Lockman TSG 10 rear grip. Tuning for the grip right here. Tuning for the ammo. Tuning for the underbarrel. And finally, tuning for the barrel. Well, we finally made it to this weapon, the TAC-56, the bane of my existence. I, oh, I hate this gun, but it is a phenomenal assault rifle. And if you use it, I don't really blame you. And if you're going to use it, you might as well have the right class setup. Class setup, we have the Commando Foregrip, the Komodo Heavy Muzzle, the 17.5 inch Tundra Barrel, the X-Line Pro Stock, and the Demo Clean Shot Grip. Tuning for the grip, tuning for the Commando Foregrip, tuning for the muzzle, tuning for the barrel, and finally tuning for the stock. Moving on to kill streaks in search and destroy. They're not that great in this game, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, my personal preferences as of late have been the UAV, uh, the VTOL jet, and the chopper gunner. I also sometimes swap out the VTOL to chopper for the advanced UAV or the Overwatch Hilo. I kind of play around in that area for the most part. Overall, you can't really go wrong. Kill streaks aren't that crazy in this game, but they are nice to use when you do get them. Moving on to my settings, I say this in every class of the video and I'll say it again. I don't believe in the whole there is one right sensitivity or one wrong sensitivity or blah, 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 blah. I run what feels right for me and I think you should do the same, but I get asked all the time about my settings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn off the face cam, turn off the mic, and I'm just gonna scroll through all of them. My graphic settings, my controller settings for when I do use it on this game, etc. I'm gonna go through everything. So if there's anything you wanna look at and check out just to see what I run, it'll be here for you. Uh, for the MASA keyboard players, I play on 800 DPI. Anyways, I'm just gonna mute up. We'll go through the settings right now.
All right, squad, that is it for my classes and settings for Search and Destroy in Call of Duty Season 6. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. Hope you found some class setups to try out. Thank you for watching. I will catch you all in the next one. Seek and Destroy. It's Pesigger.